Man, so we back at it again, man. Straight to the point. We're not going to do that talking stuff, man. You see the title of the video. You know what it is. Let's stop doing the talking. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to jack the car up. This job is not that hard. Boom. Take your tire off. Put a jackson in there if you want. You're going to have to go after these 15 millimeter bolts. Got one there. One there. There's one down up in there. Uh, I think you can see it at the bottom right there. I think one up there. Keep it set up. If you ain't got an impact, you got to wrench it out. So I'm going to take this boat out. We're going to go to the next step. All right. So after you get that boat out, one above there. You got like another one back up in here. It's kind of hard to film it. I don't know if you can see it. Boom. I'm going to zip that on out. All right, so the next step, go go for that boat way up in there. Boom. Go take an extension, ratchet. And you're going to put that on there like that. You're going you're gonna to ratchet that on up out of there. I can't do it with two hands. It's going to be your setup. You put that on, you just ratchet that out. All right, so next up, I believe we got the last bolt. That's the one on the bottom. You're going to take that same ratchet, and you're going to put it on that bolt down there that it's hanging on, and you're going to ratchet that on out. Boom. Once you get this thing loose, you normally can just turn them out by your hand. So, boom. After that bolt, it's pretty simple. Just take this thing on out. Like I said, so after you kind of Get that thing up out of there the best way you can. It's kind of like a, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. Take this on out. I swear to you, if you want to go ahead and try to put that thing back in there, you can. I'm letting you know I'm not. I've done this plenty of times. My personal cars, I don't put that thing back on because it's just too hard. So boom. Let's you down with the side. Come up to the top. You run your hand down here and you'll feel a bolt, 10 millimeter. You go ahead and take your ratchet and uh, put that up on there. And you take that on off. So after that, you get that off, you should just be able to slide that off that tap. And that's gonna give you a playroom with this. Put in there. That's, is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. You're looking at it. The knock sensor is above that. Okay, so to do this, man, there's gonna be some tin foil or something around there. You gotta rip that off, slide that gray thing clip up, and then you press. You press it and you should be able to pull that out. I cannot film that. You're gonna have to, yours is probably gonna have that tin foil on there. You gotta rip that off, slide that thing up, and then push it. And then pull that out of the the uh, the crank sense. Okay, boom, again, you're sitting on your butt. When you get back up in here, knock on. Like I said, this drop ain't really too crazy. I'm trying to film. Okay, I got my, there's a bolt on the other side of that crankshaft. You need the deep socket, 10 millimeter. And you go ahead and take that bolt off. You probably gonna need a quarter inch, 10 millimeter, quarter inch uh, socket. And you're gonna take, you're gonna have to be in the setup. I'll show you where my arm is at. I'm in there like that. Kind of awkward. You're gonna have to ratchet that on out and then take that 10 millimeter bolt and then I'm gonna show you how to get that crankshaft sensor out. So boom, when you get the bolt out, this is what the bolt look like. Your setup is like this. Kind of got your arm out. Kind of turn that out a little bit. Once you actually break it loose, you actually can um, 
kind of get that out by hand. All right, so here's the fun part. This is gonna be the tool you're gonna need to get that crankshaft out. If you're unlucky, like most people, that crankshaft is not just gonna pull out. You can buy this tool from Harbor Freight. Uh, Cause getting this thing out is kind of like pulling teeth. I'm gonna show you guys what you guys gotta do. Okay, so boom, you land up under the car. Uh, transmission pan here, oil plug filter there, that black thing up there sticking out. That is the crankshaft. What you're gonna wanna do, let's see if I can do this with two hands. You're gonna wanna take these vice grips. You're gonna wanna take these vice grips and grip that and twist that. So I'm gonna stop the video when I get these vice grips on there. I'm gonna show you what you need to do next. I got the vice grips up on there. Boom. This is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna twist this quite a bit of times. Twist this about 20 times back and forth and then you should be able to Kind of get that on out of there with your hand. So boom, I got it on out of there. Now what I did <coughs> was I took these long vice grips, I laid up under the car, and I twisted it to make it loose in there. And then I took this tool from under the car and kind of twisted this to to kind of you know kind of work it on out. And after I got it out so far, where this was the wall, I wasn't able to turn this and touch it more. I actually took this tool here, st stuck this in there on the back of it and pried it on out of powder there. Now, getting it in is a lot easier than getting it out. So, like I said, we don't um i want to make this video too long but you know that's pretty much how you get a crankshaft position center out of a 2008 impala 3.5 3500 engine subscribe for more videos i'm up out of here man